I'm Jeremy Lafredo for Rebel News in New York City, where polio has made a resurgence. Disaster emergency in New York after health officials detected the polio virus. And New York Gov Governor Kathy Hochul has declared a polio state of emergency in her state. The news of a polio resurgence has ushered panic into the city, with city officials reminding people to get vaccinated and expanding vaccine access via polio vaccine centers. The city is using vaccine infrastructure that was originally set up to combat COVID. But of course, when there's a viral emergency, Bill Gates is somewhere to be found close by. And as in other cases, partly to blame for the emergency in the first place. The form of polio virus found in New York was not wild polio, but instead it was vaccine derived polio, meaning the polio virus that's in the polio vaccine that most of the world receives. In other words, the polio vaccine caused this polio emergency. Is it possible? Can the vaccine do this? Well, yes, it can. Most of the world gets the oral polio vaccine, or the OPV. The OPV contains a live polio virus. This live virus can replicate inside a child's intestine and spread in places with poor sanitation and plumbing. That means people can contract the virus from the vaccine. According to a 2017 study by the University of California, San Francisco and Tel Aviv University, the polio virus used in the OPV did just that. It rapidly regained its strength and started spreading on its own, quote, leading to hundreds of cases of childhood paralysis. In recent years, more children have been paralyzed by the vaccine strain of the virus than by wild polio itself. In an interview with NPR, professor of microbiology Raul Andino said, quote, It's actually an interesting conundrum. The very tool you are using for polio eradication is causing the problem. In the year 2000, the U.S. halted its use of the OPV, but in other countries, the Gates Foundation continues to use its instruments of influence to make sure governments continue administering the dangerous drug. Polio outbreaks all around the world are the result of this oral polio vaccine, now even in New York. In 2005, Oxford's Clinical Infectious Disease Periodical reported that polio outbreaks in China, Egypt, Haiti, Madagascar were all caused by the OPV, writing that, quote, the time is coming when the only cause of polio is likely to be the vaccine used to prevent it. A few years later, the same periodical, while arguing that developing countries should shift to the inactive polio vaccine that the U.S. uses, wrote that the OPV is, quote, not only giving kids polio, but it also seems to be ineffective at stopping polio transmission to begin with. As the British Medical Journal reported in 2012, quote, the most recent mass polio vaccination programs in India, fueled by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, resulted in increased cases of polio. According to doctors in India, the OPV is also causing outbreaks of another disease called non-polio acute flaccid paralysis, or NPAFP. After an NPAFP epidemic paralyzed 490,000 children between 2000 and 2017, the doctors published a report suggesting that, quote, the increase in non-polio acute flaccid paralysis and the later decrease in such cases was indeed an adverse effect of the WHO's polio immunization program, which is chiefly funded by the Gates Foundation. Non-polio acute flaccid paralysis is, quote, clinically indistinguishable from polio, but twice as deadly, explained Keith Van Heron, a neurologist at the Stanford School of Medicine. He said that it, quote, actually looks just like polio, but that term really freaks out the public health people. In 2012, the British Medical Journal noted that polio eradication in India, quote, has been achieved by renaming the disease. That same year, the Indian Journal of Medical Ethics likened polio eradication efforts in India to the occupation of Iraq stating, quote, when the U.S. was badly mired in Iraq in 2005, Joe Galloway suggested that the U.S. must simply declare victory and then exit. Perhaps the time is right for such an honorable strategy with regard to polio eradication. However, the Gates Foundation and the WHO have stayed the course, distributing the OPV in dozens of countries. In Syria, the Gates-backed Gavi pledged $25 million for polio immunization in 2016. A year later, the WHO reported that 58 children in Syria had been paralyzed by the vaccine-derived form of the virus. Despite the scientific consensus against the OPV and the opposition to such programs in target countries, the oral polio vaccine remains being administered in Africa, the Middle East, and South Asia as part of aid programs, creating windfall profits for pharmaceutical giants who may not have been able to sell their products elsewhere. And they've also created a new polio emergency here in New York, which could be soon used for all types of virus-related restrictions and surveillance. For Rebel News in New York City, I'm Jeremy Lafredo. If you don't think the corrupt WHO should be exercising its power over supposedly sovereign nations, go to nopandemictreaty.com and sign our petition. That's nopandemictreaty.